Okay, so now we're gonna see how to actually save that content to a list in Postradamus. So I'm gonna go back and find some content again, and we'll do Pinterest. And we'll do Golden Doodle again. So if I wanted these first three, I would select them. And now here's the key. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom. And if I wanted to add more, by the way, I just you know go through and select them. So you can see it says it's got five that I've selected and I can add those to a list as long as I select a list to add them to. And I haven't done that yet. So that's why this is grayed out. So I need to search for an existing list and that would show up in here, but I don't have any list created yet. So I'm gonna have to create a new list. So I'll, I'll click that option there. And then I'll just say golden doodle list one. Now this button is uh, ready to be clicked. It says it's gonna add five to my golden doodle list one list. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so five Pinterest posts have been added to your list. So it sent me back to this Pinterest page. I can search for more posts if I want and continue adding those to my list, or I can go into my list right now and make any necessary changes to the posts that I've added to the list. Let's go ahead and do one more search though on Pinterest, just so you can see sort of the routine you should go through. So because I checked this, don't show content I've already saved, those five that I just saved to a list are not gonna show up in these search results anymore, which is nice. So I don't have to worry about accidentally choosing those images that are already in my list. Um, Postradamus filters those out now. So I'm gonna say I want these two as well, and that'll be good for now. And now you can see, since I've already created this list in the previous step, it's now uh, selected that list for me. And I can just say, add to, to list. And now, uh, again, I could go in and find more. I could say dogs this time, if that's relevant. Or I could go to another place to find content and then add it to my list. But we're gonna say we're good for now and just go inside of our list. And now we can see what we've added to our list so far, which is, uh, looks like about seven posts, yep. Um, these are literally Facebook posts right now. We can, I mean, they're not on our Facebook page. This is sort of what they would look like. It would have a photo and this would be the caption, basically. But if I want to, you know, if I say, well, you know, I don't like this text here, uh, I can just click it and I can add, I can you know delete the text or I can add some text to the bottom of it, right? And then click the blue checkbox and then it's added that to the bottom of my post. You know, I can click on this blue pencil icon here and that's gonna take me inside of the post to do some more advanced edits to it. Um, so I can, you know, if I want, I can make this a link post on Facebook. And if I wanted to, you know, if I wanted to link to some website, I would put in the URL here. Uh, or I can even, you know, remove this image and add a different image if I had uh, one that I liked better on my hard drive. And uh, a few other options, but don't really need to worry about them right now. One uh, important option though is this allows me to choose what time I want this post to go up on Facebook. So I could say uh, I want it to go up tomorrow, so I'll choose the 17th. And I want it to go up at uh, noon. And I'll just hit save or update rather. And you can see it now has a 
date and a time that it wants to publish that post to Facebook. Now, just because it has a date and a time, it doesn't mean it's actually gonna send that at that date and time. I have to take a further step to do that, and that'll be, I believe, in the next video. But for now, just keep in mind, uh, this one is literally 100% ready to go because it has a date and time that it's ready that it, you want it to go to Facebook and it has some text and a photo and there's really nothing else you need to do to it for it to be ready to go. So let's go over some of the other uh, features of the list. I, I showed you how to edit a post. You can also delete a post. So let's go ahead and let's delete this one right here. I would just click that button right there click OK and it's gone now from my list. I can also see where this post came from and this one came from Pinterest and this one from Pinterest and actually all of them because that's all I've found content from so far. But if you were to find content on Facebook or Instagram you'd see a different icon here of course. Um, a new feature that has just been added that is really neat, uh, exclusive to Postradamus as far as I know, is you can mouse over an image and then you have this icon up here. And if you click that, this is gonna allow, this is a full on image editor inside Postradamus. So I can add some text and then I can drag it around, right? And then I just double click it and then I can change it so uh, it's pretty neat um, I can make it bigger I can uh, bold it italicize it change the font I mean there's just all kinds of options opacity if I don't want to make any changes to my image no problem you don't have to use that feature but it's really nice if you want to uh, do all kinds of things really. There's memes that you might want to create. There's uh, uh, you might want to add your own copyright down here or uh, copyright of the person who took the photo. You could even add your own images. Now I've already uploaded some images uh, earlier so I've got some here but if you haven't uploaded any yet you, you can click this link here and upload some images and once you do that you'll see them all listed right here and then you just click on one and you can drag it around of course just like your text over here just delete that text though and uh, you know just put it wherever you want so this is really neat um, by the way this is called a call to action if you're not familiar with it so this is gonna you know tell the the visitor to hey comment on this post and let me know what you think. And this is gonna be huge for boosting your uh, uh, interaction on your Facebook page. So I'll click save on that and let's see if, uh, yep, now it updated. So uh, nice image editing features in Postradamus. If I wanna create my own custom post, and that, that means one that I didn't find from Facebook or Pinterest or Instagram or any of those, but one that I'm creating on my own. I can click this button here. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, actually. So this is the same page you saw earlier where it looked like you were editing a post before. Now you're actually creating a post. So I can you know, add some text. I can add a link if I want, choose a photo, all that stuff. And then this would just add that post to my list. I can select all the items on my list, or all the posts in my list, I should say. And um, then I have these three options down here that allow me to do things with whatever I've selected. So that's why it says manage selections here. I've selected uh, about seven, no, six of them. I can delete those six, right? That would delete all six of them. I can duplicate them. So if I were to duplicate all these, I'd have 12 on my list now. And why would you want to duplicate? I don't know, various reasons. Maybe you want to duplicate them and then write different text 
for the duplicated ones or change the photo or whatever. But the point is you have that option. Um, and then up here we have all kinds of options as well. So uh, I can sort through my list. I can say I want to see any that are scheduled first. And now it's going to show me the scheduled ones at the top. I can see when I created the posts or when I found the posts from different sources. So it's saying that I found, uh, I believe it's going to say I found this one first and then this one and then this one and so on. Um, so that's how you sort. And then um, you can search through your list as well. So you could say only show me the scheduled posts. And now it's only going to show me that one post because I've only got one scheduled. But let's go ahead and clear that search. So we're back to square one. Yep, there we go. So I can click calendar view here. And my screen changes to this calendar. And it, it, it's basically it's a way to schedule out your posts quickly and efficiently. So it shows the one that I've already scheduled here on Friday. It shows what time. Um, but I want to add some more. So I could add another one on Friday. Just drag it down here at, say, 6 AM. I want it to go out. And there it is. Uh, th so at 6 AM on Friday, this one will go out. And then at 12 PM, this one will go out. I can keep doing that. Drag this one on to Saturday at 5 AM. And uh, Saturday, I just want one post. So let's go to the next day. Sunday, I want one post, 10.30. Monday, I want two posts, so I'll put one up at 7 a.m. and another at uh, 3 p.m. Okay, so that's how you use the calendar view. This is gonna show all your posts that you can add to your calendar. And if you've already got posts on your calendar, then you just find them here. And you can still drag them around to different days move them around and that automatically gives them a scheduled time um, so if I go back to my list view it hasn't updated yet but if you hit refresh you can see they all have dates and times now so that's a lot quicker than having to go into the uh, pencil icon here and and giving it a date and a time through this option up here but um, that's, that's the two options that you have. There's actually a third one, and I'm going to go into that in a whole other video. Um, it's extremely powerful as well. I would say even more powerful than scheduling things with the calendar. So be sure and watch that. Finally, we have modify list. So we can click this, and we can rename the list. And we can move the list. I'm not ready to explain what that means yet. We'll, we'll get to that. We can clear a list, so we can delete all the posts in it. And then we can duplicate the list. If I already clicked that. It's just gonna ask me to supply a new name for the list. So I'll say golden doodle list two. Now if I click this button, it's gonna take all the posts on my list and create a new list called this, and then I'm gonna have two lists with all these posts. Um, and that should be good for now. I'll, I'll go over these other options later. So for this video, uh, I think I've given you a pretty good understanding of how to work with your list 